So you're John Longhorn, eh? Well, John, let's see. Yeah? Uncle Sam has a nice, tidy little sum for you, John. The earnings and interest on your oil lands amount to just $4,000. Sign your name right here. Chris Morrell. Step up here, will you, please? Hello, Nina. The money from Nina's mother's oil land is amounting to quite a pile. About $50,000 right now. If you can locate Nina's father and get a signature to these documents, then Nina will still remain the ward of the United States government. But you will be her guardian legally. Well, that ought to be simple enough. Or, if you can bring evidence or proof that her father is dead, then that will clear the situation. Well, I've got a pretty fair idea that he's still alive. Well, what did you find out? The half-breed kid's worth 6000 right now. And if Chris Morrell locates the kid's father, and he signs the papers the agent gave him. As her guardian, Morrell gets $60,000. Oh, he does. That is, if he gets to the kid's father before we get to him. Where are we going, Daddy Chris? We're heading north. Why are we moving away? I like it here. To see if we can find your real daddy. And if we can, are we may able to scrape up enough money to send you away to school. But I don't want to go to school. I want to be a cowboy like you. Oh, girls can't be cowboys. Can too. I can ride as well as you can. But you still can't be a cowboy. What do you want? I guess you know what we want. There's no use of beating around the bush. We came here for Nina, and we're willing to offer you a fair proposition for her. If that's all you came for, you might just as well leave right now. Now, nah, don't get hostile, Chris. You know as well as we do that Sam Black runs things in these parts. When he sends us out to get the girl, we're going to get her. Besides, he's being mighty good to you, offering to cut you in on that oil money. Well, anyway, she isn't here. You can tell Sam Black for me that she's left this part of the country for good. And you can also tell him that if he'd had the nerve to come himself and set us in a new renegade, that I'd have shoved that offer right down his throat. Now, come on. Get out of here, all of you. We'll get out. Maybe she ain't here. But we're not giving up that easy. We're watching you and we're watching the place. So don't think you're getting away with nothing. We better get Sam Black and go after him.
Goodbye, little partner. You want me to ride all along? Well, it's the only way out for us. W what about you, Daddy Chris? Oh, me? I'll be all right. Now, you ride to the second bend below, and you'll hit Snake Trail. Do you understand? And when you get to Bud Moore's ranch, tell him that I sent you. Tell him where I am and that I'm needing help. these tracks. Shorty, you stay with the horses. The rest of you scatter around that thicket. I got him! I got him! Come on, boy, Sam got him! thought you said you got him. I had him all right, but I guess he got away. You guess he got away? He sent that kid on alone while he stayed here to cover the trail. And that kid means 50,000 bucks to us.
Get out and see if you can round up them horses. Used to be, but it's mine now. Well, maybe you can tell me where to find Buddy Moore. He ain't here. Oh! You ain't going nowhere. Uh, let go of that youngster, Vic. You been a hollering for kitchen help? Well, here it is. Well, what are you doing here? Daddy sent me to find Buddy Moore. He said he should kill me. We'll take care of you, all right. Go on, get in the house. Now, you let her alone. If she's going to help me, I'll take care of her. All right. You ain't scared of me, are you? Oh, you needn't worry none about him as long as I'm here. Come on, let's go in the house, huh? <laughs> now, now, there ain't nobody here but you and me. <laughs> Up you go there. Now then, what's your name, honey? Me and Morel. Is your pop's name Chris? Yes. You know him? Yeah, I used to. How come he ain't with you? Sam Black and his gang were after us, and we only had one horse. The daddy Chris told me to get on and ride him and... and I will, Miss Claire. And uh, you haven't seen my brother Jim, have no, you? No, I haven't. Oh, I thought if you were in town, you might want to ride back with me. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'll meet you at your ranch. Tell us. I've been robbed. A fellow with a checkered shirt, a black hat, and he had a black handkerchief across. 
across his face. Yes, yes, sure it was. Sure it was a tough one. No, I tell you, I can't be mistaken. He had on a checkered shirt and a black hat. Why, he took $6,000 from me and stuffed it into a gunny sack. Well, which way did he go? Well, I don't know which way he went. See for yourself, there's nothing else for me to do but to turn you over to the sheriff. Seriously, ma'am, you've got the wrong man. Well, why are you wearing the checkered shirt and the black hat? Not to mention the gunny sack. Well, if I knew who these belonged to, I'd know who robbed the express office. You mean they don't belong to you? That's what I mean. You expect me to believe that? Well, I hope you will. And if I did, what would you do? Well, First, I'd see that my little partner was safe, and then I'd find the man that belongs to this shirt. You wouldn't run away? Do you think I would? No, I don't think so. Oh, where'd you send your little partner? To Bud Moore's ranch, down River Valley. Bud Moore? Yes, I used to ride herd with him in the panhandle. Do you know him? Oh, yes, he's my brother. That is, he was my brother. I don't quite get you. Bud, there. Oh. He was killed in a range war last year. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a bit of a shock at first, but I guess you can get used to anything. Well, did Bud ever mention my name? Chris Morrell? Are you Chris Morrell? Well, he used to say you were the best friend a man ever had. I guess that's putting it pretty strong, ma'am. Clara. Come on, let's go up to my place and change that shirt. There'll be a lot of people looking for it. Yes, ma'am. I mean, Clara. <laughs>
Nina's mother was a full-blood Osage. She married a good-for-nothing white man who left her two months before the kid was born. His mother died. Jim. I'll make you some coffee before you go. Well, thanks, ma'am. Uh, I mean, Clara. So you're Jim. What about it? Nothing, only I came to for a minute when you changed shirts with me at the creek. Well, why don't you tell her? Well, in the first place, because it'd break her heart. In the second place, because snakes like you usually die of their own poison. What was that noise? Why, Jim uh, showing me his gun and it dropped out of his hand. Oh. There's some coffee, Jim? Not now. Later. I'm glad to have met you. Same to you. How do you like Jim? Well, some men are like books written in a strange language. And that makes it awfully hard to read them. I hope I wasn't wrong in reading you, Chris. Oh, no, ma'am. Well, you were telling me about Nina just before Jim came in. Oh, uh... Well, Nina... That guy recognized you. He knows you pulled that job at the express office. I told you not to stop. Well, I thought it'd be a good way to hang it on him and leave us in the clear. Where's the money? The old Hollis dump. Let's go get it. In order to protect her interests, we started out to find Nina's father. Well, Sam Black and his gang figured that she was worth a lot of money. Luckily, I got the best of them and stampeded their horses and made a getaway. Well, I guess I'd better be going. Oh, no, you better take this one. It's Jim's. Oh. Thank you. You'll bring Nina back, won't you? I sure will, Clara. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Goodbye, Chris. Here, pig, 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 made her stay. I didn't know Chris was a squaw man. He ain't another. What do you mean? She ain't his kid. She's your kid. How do you know? Chris and me was there when she was born. And for two days after, when your wife died. Come here, kid. We want to talk to you. Oh, 
I'll bet that's the bunch that belongs to Sam Black in these games. Gosh, I wish I had something to put on my dog. The sure sore. Well, it was your fault for letting Morell stampede the horses. Now go find them. Well, where'll I go? I don't know of any place around here to get horses. I don't care where you get them. Get them. Them's our horses. Who's ours? Sam Black and the boys. Sam Black? That's the man I want to see. Well, come on. We're camp right over yonder. For a half-breed kid named Nina Morrell? You said it. I got her. What's the idea? I'll exchange if you count me in. For how much? Ten thousand and... Uh, What's the and for? Chris Morrell's scalp. Do you know him? Yeah. Where do I find him? Clara Moore's homestead. I'll show you how to get there. You're on. Good. You cut me in for ten thousand and bring the scalp of Chris Morrell to my ranch, and I'll turn the kid over to you. Where's your place? Here. I'll show you how to get from the Moore homestead to my ranch. Why, Matt Downing, you're all buzzard. Chris Morrell. <laughs> I know from what kid said you couldn't be far away. Well, is she all right? Where is she? At the bird ranch. Used to be Bud Moore's. Dad's there, too. Her dad? Yeah. Come on, I'll tell you all about it on the way. It's a cinch. All right, I'll be seeing you. Come on, fellas. Fifty on that money for the kid. Sure. But we'll go split that express money first.
Bird, he made me rob the express office, and he got the money. You know where he went? Yes, yeah. to the ranch. To get your kid. To give her to Sam Black. Please don't tell my sister about me. Get him into a doctor, quick, and bring the sheriff back with. She might be lying. There's nobody inside. All right. You're riding with us. Maybe you can remember where he went. My kid. Yeah? Well, she's worth 10,000 bucks to me. What do you mean? I told Sam Black I'd turn her over for 10,000. Well, you're out of luck. She's worth more than that to me. You better change your mind, Tom. You heard me. You keep your hands off my kid. I ain't taking orders from you. in his gang. Look out, Chris! They won't get my kid. Who told you she was yours? Matt told me. And Vic told me about Sam Black and his gang wanting her.
I got an idea without us taking any more chances. Empty. I wouldn't give you up for anything. Hey, Sam Black, are you listening? Yeah, Sam. How'd you like to trade me for the woman? Send the woman at the same time. There's one cartridge left. But well, I've got an idea. That last bullet right. Goodbye, cowboy. Keep going, Clara, no matter what happens.
trouble with me. No, no, it's not. 